Okay, it's 530, so we're going to call to order the August meeting of the Board of Education and the first item up, uh, Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. Mike Isbell. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mike. <coughs> uh, mission statement will be read by Mr. Butchall. The mission of the Bluff County Schools team is to enhance the quality of life in our community by nurturing all students and educating them to their fullest potential. Thank you. Any public comments, Lisa? Okay, no one signed up, so we'll go straight uh, to approval of the agenda, which is in front of everyone. Does anything need to be changed, added, deleted? Move okay. approval then. Okay. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, agenda's approved. And that carries us to the approval of the minutes from <coughs> the, how many meetings do we have here? Several. Four. Two meetings, but closed sessions and regular. Hopefully you've had time to look over those already. and Move approval. Second. Okay, we have a motion, a second of approval of the minutes. Any uh, questions or anything? Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Minutes are approved. And we will now go into the no action portion of the meeting and a driver's education update. Done. Yeah, I wanted to. T t I was hoping I could come to this meeting at late August and give you an idea of exactly where we're going to be, but we don't know yet without, again, the state budget. So we're moving into the month of September with that uncertainty. We had decided, you all had decided as a board, that we would continue on with driver's ed the way we've always done it in terms of charging and stuff through the month of August. What I'd like to ask, and, and we, this is a no action item, Joe is here tonight and can answer any questions, but word is that we may have some action at the state level by the 1st of September. And uh, with that in mind, I don't know if that means that the state's going to pay for it, the state's not going to pay for it, the state's going to partially pay for it. We don't know that yet. But before we all can, can address the issue and make a decision about how much we're going to charge or, or how much we're going to contribute to the cost of the program, we've got to have a better idea of what the cost is. And the, and the reason why I feel like that may change is that Joe has heard from others and I've talked to some superintendents and the charges are changing because there are fewer students and they have to get more money and different things like that. So what I've asked Joe to do is put together a uh, request to go out for, for bids and I feel like if we can competitively bid, uh, if we're in the situation of having to make a funding decision, we'll know exactly what the cost is going to be to us. So we're, we're bidding uh, for the services with us providing the cars, the materials, and the gas. And we're also bidding with it being a turnkey package with the driving school providing everything so that we're not doing anything other than the, the general work that, jo uh, that Joe does to get everybody set up. That way we'd be able to tell you exactly what it would cost for a family. So right now, I don't know if it will be 225 or 350 or 150. I don't know. And because it's such a wide range, I feel like we need to know a little bit more. We don't have our next work session until the 14th of September. I feel like by that time, we can have the, uh, the bid packet go out to tr get some feedback. And then we would know, hopefully, from the General Assembly if any political action has been taken. So just wanted to give you an update and let you know, hopefully, when we meet in September, hopefully, it'll be resolved at the state level. But if not, then we'll have a firm number that we can share with you what the actual cost will be and then make some decisions. One of the things that I want you to think about, and I, again, I may, I'm saying this and this may all be null and void after the state makes their decisions. Right now, we're able to charge families up to a certain 60 or $65 per family. So the state pays the rest of that. Now, that, as of July 1st, they're not paying anything. So we're, we're taking care of that. What Joe normally gets is a count of eighth graders in our county. Those eighth graders include our eighth grade students as well as eighth grade students that attend private schools. We have to include that as well. When the state has picked up the tab, they've paid for that. If we get to a point where we contribute any money for driver's education, I think we need to be aware that some of the students that are taking driver's ed are not Beaufort County students. And it would either be incumbent upon their families to pay 100% of the cost or the schools to contribute. And we have no idea what that dollar figure is going to be. I haven't approached any of the schools, but I will be doing that once we determine what our cost is going to be per student. So there's a lot up in the air. I just can't, I can't corral anything to make any decisions until I know what's going on at the state level. And we're not, we're not pushing it off because we don't want to deal with it. We just don't know what the firm numbers are going to be yet. Once we get those, I'll come back to you and we'll, we'll try to have some recommendations and a plan at that point. But just wanted to give you an update as we move in to late August of where we are. 
So and we're looking at about 600 kids per students per year is what we generally are dealing with. I have a question, Joe, yes. and without revealing my age and yours. Um, <laughs> there was <laughs> there was a time. He taught me if that makes it even worse. <laughs> there, was a, there was a time that, um, and I had a lot of people ask me this, and I don't have the answer, so I'd like to be able to have the right answer. There was a time when we call it the book part of driver's ed was actually taught within the school system. Is that no longer part of any curriculum? We still teach the book part. We still teach our teachers, or a are we paying, are we subbing that out to the driving school? The, you have to be certified uh, in driver's education to be able to teach it, so the driving school teacher teaches the book part. We have classes at each high school, and several at the ed tech throughout the year for students that have after extracurricular activity after school that they can come take it. it's open to anyone and uh, then they take the driving at their school okay so our actual staffs are no longer part of the program we do not have a driver's ed, certified driver's ed teacher um, mm -hmm. in our staff anymore. the course is taught after school is that right um, after school Saturday yeah the law says it can't be done during the instructional day we're no, we're no longer allowed to do it during the instructional day but, but we could have a certified teacher we just don't or I, I don't know that's what I'm asking I mean I took well, it after school as well the board could uh, provide drivers at any way they want to you could hire drivers that we have two that work in the county through the driving school and you could hire your own and have them teach I don't know what the benefits and stuff, what the difference in the price would be. Uh, we're paying about two twenty-five per student now for the driving school, and then we provide the car and gas insurance and uh, things like that. So, so we're already funding a great deal of it. We're just getting up until July first. We were getting reimbursed for all but a portion of it. Is that correct? From, from the parent charge that we have and then from the state giving us the money, the money paying for the program but we don't have that state money anymore hmm. I, I didn't know if that was even an option or if it, it would even be an option we'd want to consider <clears throat> but I've been asked and mainly it's been people from my generation that remember it being taught by somebody on campus was also it might have been your PE teacher was also could have been the civics teacher <laughs> like Mr. Koch the House is willing to fund drivers if they want to keep it. The Senate's have gone as far as they're talking about not even requiring it anymore. So just doing away with it. So they're pretty far apart. Right. They want to move it to, book, to the community college in a year or so or something? That's one of their plans, but they're also saying let's just do away with the requirement Completely. and require 40 <laughs> more hours of driving insurance on the permit. Okay. Give them a license and turn them loose. <laughs> Carolyn, even if it was done by our certified folks, it could not be done during the instructional day. Right. right. It was well. Even I took it after school. Yeah, okay. I, it wasn't back then. It wasn't taught during the school day. We taught the part before and after, and we did the driving during the school day. Okay. Did I understand you said we serviced about six hundred? Six hundred. Is that the number, Joe? Uh, six hundred. Last year, eighth grade, we had five hundred yeah. seventy eighty, okay. and then with the private schools and uh, homebound. Right. Uh, we're required anybody that lives in our county that's uh, a ninth grade or technically is uh, to provide drivers in Florida. So we're not providing anything at this point in time, though, right? We, we, no, are. we are. We are? We are? Are we finishing the, the kids that started but not starting another session? Um, we're basically continuing right now. We're, um, we talked to book parts in this summer and we had driving uh, all summer long, July and August, about a third of the school systems are ended driver's ed and didn't provide anything. Two thirds of them are continuing on. Uh, we got 600, if you look at Mecklenburg, if they stop for a month and two months, they may never catch up. And I don't know how they would particularly teach them after school, not during the school day. Would be, they'd have to get a lot of personnel in there to uh, provide it. So about a third of them have stopped completely with the program. They're waiting to see what the General Assembly is going to do. Two-thirds of them are going on with the uh, belief that they're going to fund it. But no one's going to know. 
and it's already a fifth. For whatever reason, the, the kids can't work in our schedule. They can always go out and get private companies to do it, and the parents pay for it. That, I mean, we're out of the picture then. So that's always, that's been an option for a while. Am, am I understanding that? So we're the only ones for, that are offering drivers is like public? I mean, the uh, charter schools, different schools that they don't? No. So they, we service, if they have any kids. The I'm not saying they do, if they do. Up until July 1st is they would take account of whether the Didmap student was private, right. public, Just or charter, they would take a head count of all the rising ninth graders and then they funded it $195, $200 per student right. and they sent it to the public school in the form of the driver's ed budget gotcha. and we were responsible to provide for all the students. And anything over that we obviously would either have to pay a parent to that pay to some charge school, that's right. I don't know how many ninth graders they have right. but wouldn't have enough to teach a full class. Right. But I mean, but their money came from the state anyway, right. so it wouldn't matter. I was just saying, if for the future, was there anybody out there that could offer other than us? But uh, I mean, now, during during the time that we've <coughs> we've been picking up the costs, have have we been picking up the costs for private school, home school, charter school students during that time? Well, I don't know. That's a question that, that came to mind for me last week, and I asked Joe about that. And before we get any deeper, that's why I want to have that conversation in September. So will September start a new session and we have to decide by then if we're going to continue it or not? Uh, I think the first class is first of September we start teaching the book part. That's what I thought. Okay. We'll still be driving um, with two instructors operating uh, six hours a day. They'll turn out about two students per day uh, as they go through the end of August, well, end of August, first of September. So you could have about 30 or so kids that would take drivers in, and um, if the state doesn't fund it, we would have to take For those 30 or so. Okay. So by the time we get back, we'll all be past that date, right? But if we wait till the 14th, but we're yeah. hoping that the state will pick the tab up, we'll see okay. where we are. We may have to delay. We have to say that we're going to hold off until the, the 15th or something like that of any yeah. coursework. Because we won't be back to after then. Any other questions? Or? I think there's so much up in there. It's kind of hard to ask the questions, you know, <coughs> because I mean, I, I know you don't have all the answers. So. We're well, just waiting. Do we need to delay what's going on, what's getting ready to start now until thinking. after the 15th? We could. But, we have it as a no action item, but if, if you all wish to go ahead and make that decision, we're not going to meet again until after, well, until the 14th. That's and what he I was needs that's a decision before the 14th. I was, asking. Before I, the I was 14th, here in September 1st. Mr. Yeah. Chairman, I move that we suspend the rules and make this an action item okay. and so we can act on it. So, here's a second on that. Okay. Anybody question that? Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, it's just been turned into an action item. Mm. That doesn't tell us what action we want to take. But, so you're saying September the first, if we don't change anything, September the first, we're going to start up with another, and probably won't have the, 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 the book the part yet. The, the book, book part, part, right? But book, book part starts. We will con we we continue driving. to drive right. while that book, book portion goes on. People have taken the book part right. in the summer. Uh, we drive. Uh, we'll have one session in each high school, which lasts for. Uh, it's three hours a day, that would be 12 hours a week. It would be about two and a half weeks to do the book part. But when the book set, three hour session is up, we would then drive another set of students for three hours. Okay. And, uh, so we would still have funds going out to right. provide drive okay. said starting tomorrow. Okay, so if the board decides to suspend those operations, what? I mean, what's it going to cause? What trouble? I mean, I, know, I understand suspending what that's going to do. But is I there any ripple have, effects? I'm not sure. I think sure we have of. to finish driving. We should finish driving the kids that have had the book part, right? Because mm -hmm. aren't well, they I then left in the I would finish the ones that were driving now. Right. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. And not start not any start new ones. That's right. That's right. 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 Let them finish it. That's right. And not start Until another book session. Until we know what we're dealing with. Yeah. Until we find out that we're doing for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, it won't be but a two or three week window we'll we'll have some more information on. But at least we won't be making commitments to a whole group without knowing what we have, right? I don't want us out here sitting in the kids that are currently driving. Okay. They're in the car, I would recommend finishing. Okay. Sure, absolutely. All right.
So does everybody understand what he's suggesting? Well, mm -hmm. not I won't say suggesting, but recommending doing. Okay. We how need do you to make, make, make it to make it official? Um, I make a motion we suspend the driver's ed program as far as starting any new classes, but we continue to allow any students that are currently driving to finish their driving part okay. un until we have a better answer of what we can do. Okay. Everybody understand that? Barbara Did I hear a second, Barbara? Okay. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any questions real quick? Does that include students who have not started driving but are scheduled to drive that have finished the, the coursework? No. I, I was, <clears throat> if they're in the middle, I think they yeah. could go on and drive, you know, if they're already halfway through. My understanding is if they're in the car driving, we finish. That's right. That's right. Or if they but finish if they the book part and they're scheduled to drive, let them go on and drive. Right. But if they so let's don't start new. But don't start any new That, that could get difficult. Yeah. I mean, if students that you have. Well, let, let, me ask, let me ask this. At what point do we pay for them doing it? Do we pay at the beginning? July 1. So, uh, so, July 1. so, well, I guess what I'm, what I'm asking is have, have we already paid for Someone that hasn't started driving yet. Someone that hasn't started driving yet. No, but we probably paid for the driving school will send in a monthly bill at the end of the month. I will uh, I have had them put the phone numbers on it. <coughs> I spot call several students to make sure they got their six hours in uh, with the different instructors and ask them what they did. Then I sign it and turn it in to Miss Harold. She pays the driving school so We'll have a bill coming in shortly for um, August. Then they will continue to drive through September, and another bill will come in the end of September. Are we on the hook what? for those that have taken? Are we on the hook for the full amount for those that have taken the book part but have not driven? We'll be on the hook to pay them for the book part. So is it two set? It's not a total. Right, it's right. Two but separate it's not. Things. But we're not on the hook for the driving part if they haven't started driving. Right. How many students are we talking about right now? Roughly. I I would have to call the driving school and see exactly how many students they have, but they would normally have around uh, four or five thousand dollar bill a month. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of months more in the summer. Than that, but yeah. Right. It's a little bit more in the summer, but you have Two drivers and instructors driving six hours a day or taking the book part. Uh, and when they finish a student, we pay for them. So it's based on, uh, I have to look at a bill and, and give it the average about how often, how many they did a month. I don't well, want to leave okay. someone that's taken the book part without that's the ability to drive and finish. I think. I may be wrong, but I think our point is to not start anybody else on the book part that will then also require driving. That's right. Let's yes. finish out whoever we, whoever's already taken the book part. I think we ought to finish out. They took right. it in good faith that we were going to right. see it through. Okay. So does that need to be a different motion? So is the motion okay with you? That okay. Go ahead, Joe. I'm sorry. The the biggest criteria I think is the birthday. If they're getting close to that 15. Mom and Dad, right now, if nothing changes the way it's set up, um, you have to have your permit for one year before you get your mm -hmm. license. So Mom and Dad want them finished before they're 15. Mm -hmm. We've got someone that took the book part that's 14, 8 months, 14, 9. We can wait a little bit on it to, before we start driving. Right. Um, because it's not a, but, but they're already, a week away from the 15th birthday or um, three weeks, then they are, you'd have more of an opportunity to have phone calls if their child is almost 15 and not driving. Right. Okay. All right. The motion as it stands is if you're not in the car, we're suspending the program. Now, do you want to change it to include those that have finished the book part? And let them finish the car part. There's a lot yes, that I haven't finished the book part, that have finished the book part and haven't driven yet. But, but when, I, I, I feel like they took that course, right. yeah. but with with the understanding that, that they would get to finish. That's right, right, and, that's and, right. and that's yeah. That's I, my that point. And they, they had good faith in us, and we need right. to we need to hold up mm -hmm. our end of what, your motion? what the bargain was at the time. Yeah, can I modify my motion? Yes, you can. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna modify my motion to say any we just suspend driver's ed any new classes. 
Right. So, and anybody that has taken the class currently will be allowed to finish driving and everything. They'll be finished the whole class. Can, can finish and, and get their, yes. And but don't start anybody any new ones. that number and estimated cost is and what you're Go saying ahead. is if you've begun the pro process, you get to finish. Yes. I mean, there, there's, nobody else, there's nobody else in the middle of a, a written class now or a book class. Everybody now, the book classes are done. They've just got to drive. About 100 in July. Okay. You finish them up in July. Mm -hmm. I, I, I agree with Carolyn. Yeah. But this will put a stop to any new classes. Right. Is what all we're really yeah. We just need a, a clean cut. Hopefully for a two or three week period. We Barbara, need a clean cut okay, so, so we know when yeah, to start sure. back up, you know. Okay, so everybody understands now what yeah, you're saying. Okay. okay. But does Jill understand? Yeah, I think so. My understanding is we're going to drive anyone that has taken the book part, right. and we That's will right. not start any new textbook parts. That's right. Part, That's true. Therefore, we'll have no drivers. Anymore. That's right. That's correct. Finish up what we have. That's on exactly the books. what books say. That's right. Okay, so we have a motion and a second to that effect. I'll, I'll be brave and say any more questions. <laughs> if not, all in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you, Judge. And like I said, hopefully it'll be a very short and we'll all be over this and doing something different soon. Uh, strategic plan update. Uh, Don, back to you again. I want to share this with the board and with, with folks that are watching and folks in our community just to be aware. This is, is I hope, going to be a, a very important activity that we undertake. And I hope that when we're finished that we haven't created a strategic plan that we put in a binder and we put on the shelf and we say we've done that, now let's move on to something else. I hope that it'll be a strategic plan that is living and something that we base what we do on. And the reason why I feel so strongly about that is we're, we're reaching out to the entire community, anyone who has a voice, we want them to share with us what their thoughts are. We've sent out invitations to 30 or 40 individuals to serve on a planning committee that will get started. And we're working on four or three dates that we want to, to, to meet with folks in the north side area, the Washington area, and south side. And those dates haven't been confirmed yet, but we're looking at September 14th, 15th, and 16th. And these will be open meetings to the community and we invite anybody who would like to come to come. And this is not something that I'm going to direct. I feel like I need to step back, be a part of it, but let someone objectively outside the school system come in to do the work. And this whole notion will be what it is that the community wants their school system to look like. What are we doing well? What do we need to improve on? What are our strategic uh, priorities? What are our non-negotiables? Do we need to change our vision and our mission? And again, with the purpose behind it of, of what we are going to be doing moving forward. So I just wanted to let you know that that uh, started. Our goal was to try to get things kicked off in August, which we've done. And you all will be a part of that. And I'm going to have um, Eddie West, as retired superintendent, I asked him today if he would come in and just give you some updates from time to time of what's been done. And our goal will be to have this wrapped up before we break for Christmas. So that would be a great thing to be able to present at the December meeting if we can do that. So, so okay. just wanted to give you that strategic plan update so that you know that we have taken some uh, action and doing some work and you'll be hearing a lot more about it. Okay. Any questions about that, anybody? Now, th those meetings that you're, that, that you're saying tenderly 14th, 15th, 16th, is that something that we're would they be board meetings or? The, the 14th is a work session. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. We'd like to move the work session meeting to Northside okay. and then allow any board members who want to stay to do that. You're, all, you're welcome to attend any of those, but they okay. wouldn't be convened as, as a, a board meeting. It would be a, more of a community meeting led right. by okay. that outside individual. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? Uh, okay, I'll uh, entertain a motion for closed session. I move that we go into closed session pursuant to General Statute 143 dash. 318.11A1 to prevent disclosure of confidential personnel files under General Statute 115C-321 and General Statute 115C-402 and USC 1232G student records. Okay. Here a second. Second. Okay, we have a motion to second enter the closed session. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? We're in closed session. Okay, we're back out of closed session, and the first item up, uh, we need to approve the personnel agenda dated today's date. Uh, I hear a motion. So moved, Mr. Chair. <coughs> and I recuse myself from 4C, C. or okay. 3C, whatever, um, okay. 3C. Excuse me. I'll second. Okay, and we have a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, personnel agenda is approved. And September calendar, um, I think there's 
I think I only saw a couple of dates on it so far. Anything done? Adding the 14th, 15th, and 16th uh, for those community meetings. But we'll send that out to you. Make sure you're aware of that. Okay. You know, the regular meetings are. <coughs> and the second, and the second. of uh, September is Minority Hiring, 5 p.m. 2nd of September? Yes. Next week. <coughs> That's a Wednesday, right? When is our work session? Five. The 14th. Yes. At what time? 4 30? Mm -hmm. And in, the, and in the monthly meeting at 28th? But that, that meeting on the 14th, we, we've talked about doing it at Northside so that we can go from there to the community meeting. What so time we, are these meetings? They're at 6 o'clock. And our work session will start at 4.30. Uh, where will the community the meeting be? Right. At Northside. At Northside. Monday at Northside, and then the well, other we'll two we're going to try to confirm right? dates. No. But you'll get yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll send something out to you. Thanks, Lisa. The yeah, Northside meeting will be at 4.30. Mm -hmm. Right. Which will be our regular meeting, and then we can stay over for the, the other meeting. Okay, and when's the monthly meeting? The 28th. 28th at 5.30. Okay. okay. Any board member updates? Anything you'd like to share? I'd just like to wish everybody a first good day of school tomorrow. Uh, <coughs> I know three that'll be up early. <laughs> it's come right up on us quick. <coughs> That's come quick. And everybody watch out for those kids on the side of the road. Yes. Watch out for the buses. Okay. Anything from the superintendent? No, we do we do start tomorrow. We I think sometimes lose sight the early college starts early and they, they started and I went out the first day and it like they've been in school for a month. They just hit the ground running and do a great job. But we hope that all of our other schools start as, as well as the early college has and we're proud of the work that they do and look forward to seeing everybody back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd just like to say remember the family of Richard Potter, a long term, long time volunteer for the south of the river. Um, I, I call him Mr. Southside and CPS and everything else. Uh, he passed away this weekend mm -hmm. unexpectedly, and hmm. schools over there are just devastated. Just devastated. Uh, I was talking to uh, my daughter, who he volunteered in her class three days a week for the last 18 years. Wow. And she already had his folder fixed up for him and all to pick up tomorrow. So uh, it's uh, going to be a tough opening for the school and he was a great person for those of you that knew him just yes, he was. Uh, in his 50s I'm not really sure but he's just yeah. he's just an outstanding person just, you couldn't go to a game over there could you Butch did you? no it's not there he ran concessions that he done everything mm -hmm. everything for the school so just remember his family how did the, the game the first game uh, I wasn't able to attend but how did it go uh, Washington um, had, a, had a challenge with Havelock, as they always do, so that did not end as they wanted to, but it was a wonderful crowd, uh, a, a big crowd, and they have uh, what they call Little Pack, and so all the little girls that had gone in and cheered, they, at halftime they cheer with the, the varsity and JV cheerleaders, so that was really sweet to, to see. But but even though they did not win, um, I think they saw what they needed to work on, but more than anything, you saw some boys out there really giving 100%, so that's good. And I think the other side, side South side both won. Yeah, South side uh, had a great game, 50 to zero over North Duplin, so they had a good start. Oh, North side beat Crestman. And North side was good yep. I don't know the score, but. 30 to 12? They won. Yeah. That's what's important. Okay, any other comments, anybody? Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you very much.